Praise the Lord. Anybody here tonight enjoy that singing? Yeah. 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 His touch, praise God. Well, Brother Em, uh, Brother Em is, I don't know what he's there right now, but I'd say we've had some serious church. Praise God. That right here. We're getting ready to get some good food right now. Praise the Lord. It's been good all week. It's not going to be no different tonight. Let's make the eighth club. Simon Peter saith unto them, I go a fishing. Sounds like some of that Kentucky language, doesn't it? Our call. I go a fishing. They say unto him, We also go with thee. They went forth and entered into a ship immediately. And that night they caught nothing. But when the morning was now come, Jesus stood on the shore. But the disciples knew not that it was Jesus. Then Jesus saith unto them, Children, have ye any men? They answered him, No. And he said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the ship, and ye shall find. They cast therefore, and now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of fishes. Therefore the disciples whom Jesus loved saith unto Peter, It is the Lord. Now when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he girded his fisher's coat unto him, and he did cast himself into the sea. The other disciples came into the little ship. They were not far from land, but as it were two hundred cubits, dragging the net with fishes. And as soon then as they were come to the land, they saw a fire of coals there, fish laid thereon, and bread. Jesus said unto them, Bring of the fish which you have now caught. And Simon Peter went up and drew the net to the land, full of great fishes, a hundred and fifty-three. For all there were so many, yet was not the net broken. And Jesus saith unto them, Come and die. And none of the disciples durst ask them, Who art thou? Knowing that it was the Lord. Jesus then cometh and taketh bread and giveth them. 
and fish likewise. This is now the third time that Jesus showed himself to the disciples after he was risen from the dead. Amen. Amen. Let's be seated tonight in the presence of the Lord. Like that very last almost words at which we read there within the last verse, that text there in verse 14, he said he showed himself unto his disciples after he was risen from the dead. Amen. I'm glad like she sang there tonight that he is a God, he is alive and well, isn't he? I'm glad that he got up and said at times, my old Herod, could not kill him, Satan could not defeat him, death could not destroy him, and the grave certainly could not hold him. Amen. I'm so glad tonight that he got up on you. It's because he lives, we can live also. It's relevant tonight because Jesus shed his precious blood on Calvary's cross so that you might have forgiveness of your sins. But he died, was buried, and the third day he arose yes. so you could also have deliverance from your sins. Amen. Yes. Jesus came that you might have life and have it more abundantly, didn't he? Yes. Jesus, thank God Almighty, but on that very day, on the Sunday, as Mary and them went down early that day to anoint the body of Jesus, and they was troubled about the stone. Remember the large stone that then rolled before the tomb that day? They thought that within themselves and wondered how would they ever remove the stone. Little lot did they already know. God already took care of that for them. Amen. He already made a way for them. The stone was rolled away. And there was a message upon the tombstone that day. Because there was a messenger of the Lord. And said he is not here. But he is risen. Amen. I said he's alive and well. I said the stone was rolled to the side. So that not so Jesus could get out. But so we could look in. Amen. And see that Jesus is alive. on his disciples. And here Jesus at time, they seen the Lord. They seen the Lord upon the land. Remember how Mary at times she turned supposing him to be the gardener but they saw the Lord. She in turn went back and told Peter and them as well. And then Jesus appeared unto them in the upper room. You know what? The Lord. They seen the Lord on land. Now they seen the Lord at times you'll see by the sea. He appears every time but there is another when Jesus will appear, they see him on the land, they see him by the seaside, but you're also going to see him in the air one day. I want to see the Lord, don't you? The Bible says for the Lord himself in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the shell and with the Fire. Amen. And that's where they was doing. 
waiting on him. I thank God for this service here tonight. I thank God that he shows up and this servant manifests himself. And I'm still waiting on him to come in the air, aren't you? Yeah. He's going to come one day. And he ordered them to go down. The Bible says, the same we're led by the Spirit. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And I must be cautioned. Yes, we're waiting in one sense in this direction. We're waiting on Him to come back for His church, aren't we? That is, sometimes when we're called to wait on the Lord, it doesn't mean we just sit around and stargazing and doing nothing. Amen? But sometimes we've got to keep on doing what He's already told us to do. Keep on preaching. Keep on teaching. Keep on singing. Keep on proclaiming the Word of God. Keep on busy for the Lord. He's coming back. And while we got that in one area, we're waiting on that, but He's coming back. We need to be busy. We need to be faithful. We need to be living right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Of a good man are ordered by the Lord. The Lord will always direct your service. He directed them to go down and He would meet them here. He had met them. I said prior to this, he already met them outside the tomb. He had met them in the room. And there they was, and you know even Thomas. But now he meets them here down by the seaside. The Bible says he was going to show. He showed himself. It is one thing I've seen sometimes and not careful my very self. I think at times I may have showed myself. 